that was the essence and, and sort of how I got into that entrepreneurship thing. Um, it yeah. came out of necessity, right? At that point in time, it came out of hitting that glass ceiling, which yeah. I think is so applicable to today as people are going through COVID and all of that, you know, yeah. to really figure out how to pivot and shift. Early on in life that I had that entrepreneur spirit, I was always one thinking of a way how I could make my own money. Started out first as a newspaper, delivering newspapers, and then I started selling um, like hot dogs and french fries to some of my neighbors and realized I could I could make my own money. So that made me realize I never wanted to work for someone else. I always wanted to be my own boss. So I would say it started out pretty early in life for me. The best piece of advice for me is to be organized from top to bottom. Be organized from A to Z. And I'll tell you why. On production days, and maybe this is from my days of being a reporter and, and being an anchor, is when you're an anchor um, and a reporter, um, your deadlines mean everything and timing means everything. So you miss your time slot, you're late on a deadline, that's a problem. Um, if you have a paying client and you don't have information to them ahead of time, that's a problem. That will be your last time you have that, them as a client. So be organized. There's uh, four ways to build wealth. You have inheritance, you know, that was something I could scratch out. I just didn't have that. Um, most people gain their wealth through inheritance. Most people yeah, don't they know do. that. They, they people, do. That's the way most people become wealthy. It's because yep. someone passed it down to them. But yeah, yep. go ahead, Jay. You about to, have... to do a class right now. So go ahead, <laughs> them all. No, you also have uh, the stock market. You know, that can include crypto now, um, NFTs, um, the metaverse, all that type of stuff, you know, I would classify in, in, uh, in, in future wealth. Uh, you also have, you know, entrepreneurship, which is owning your own business, you know, obviously what we're talking about in real estate. Those are the ways to uh, create and generate wealth, you know, many, many times over for your family and generations to come. Yep, yep. I, and I always tell people that the ownership of property, there's a reason why. That is such an essential part of even the founding documents of our country. It was about wealth, it was about dollars and cents. You have to believe in yourself. Everyone has a God-given talent. It's something that you do effortlessly, that it comes out, everyone loves it, and that's your talent. Go for it, have that confidence. This is my second act. I was doing something completely different. Also, I was good at it. It kept my interest for 20 years. That was cosmetology. Mm -hmm. But there's something else in you. 